What's up, guys? How are you? Welcome into a Tuesday morning edition of the Daily Juice Podcast with me, Matt Peralt, at Sports Talk. Matt, for me on Twitter, at Betting Pros, on Twitter for Betting Pros. We're always being brought to you by BetMGM, the offer easy to do. It's a $10 bet from you guys, and BetMGM will give you $150 when you use the promo code JUICE150 upon signing up. $10 bet. BetMGM, BetMGM.com for new accounts, and you are in with that free $150 which you could use tonight if you would like it because we've been rolling and another winning night last night. Things have been, I mean, February has been a really good month and I'm not going (laughs) to shake a stick at it. We've been very good. We've been hot. We've been hitting. I'm doing this three bets a night thing and it's going two and oh two or two and one or, you know, pretty much we're coming through here with, with winning nights. Most nights it's been two and one. Some nights it's one, one, and one, and some nights it's, you know, I don't think we've had an 0 and 3 yet, but we've been doing a, a fairly good job of, you know, making not big money, but slow and steady. That's been the story of this podcast since its very beginning is slow and steady. And we're, we're you know, we're, we're kind of proving it here at the end of the college basketball season, but I'm betting one hockey game, one NBA game, and one college basketball game. Now, the madness for March, it's March 1st. The, mad, the madness starts tonight and we get going with conference tournaments now until the you know first week of April where we get huge games, big games. I'm not I don't love the slate tonight. I'm going to be going to be honest. I, I, I've been trying to find some angles and trying to find some games that I want to bet on and games I like. I don't really have any that I love besides one college basketball game in the Pac-12 that we'll get into. But we'll do that again. I, I, I like kind of sprinkling it around. Somebody made the, made the suggestion. I don't know, a couple of weeks ago where you need to be more diverse. I think we were betting a lot of college basketball and they're like, you know, I bet more than just college hoops. And so I like, okay, I kind of took that advice and I think it's an interesting way. Look at one hockey game, one NBA game, one college basketball game, and then you guys can pick either fade all of them, follow all of them, pick one, pick two, do what you like. So I, I kind of like this way of what we've been doing here right now. UCLA is at the half with Washington. We're covering that 10 and a half point line. So if that holds, it's a 3-0 and day. It's 2-0 and right now. Baylor covers. They win on the road, minus 1.5. We get the over for the Maple Leafs game, 5-3 to final there uh, for that one. So another over that came in there. So let's start with hockey, and then we will move into the basketball side of things. I got another total that I love, and it's Columbus up against the New Jersey Devils. The total is 6.5, minus 125 juice on this. I'm not going to go crazy and overthink all of this because, frankly, these two teams do not play any defense. And, frankly, they score quite a bit themselves as well. It's one of those situations where the books are kind of stuck. I think they'd rather put a seven up for this number, if you can believe it. But I think they're a little bit you know, gun shy to do that. But this is New Jersey at Columbus coming up here tonight on a Tuesday. The numbers are stark. The number one team in the NHL for the most games to have gone over, the Columbus Blue Jackets, with 33 games going to the over. Do you know who is also in the top five? The New Jersey Devils, 30 times, 30, 20, and 2, 33, 15, and 4 for these teams to the over this season. I don't care who's in net. I don't care what they're playing or how they're playing like it. These two teams just go over an absolute ton Columbus has been in some wild hockey games recently. So have the Devils. The Devils, 8-5, 6-1, 6-3, 4-2, 7-4. I mean, over, 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 over. Blue Jackets, 3-2, 4-0, 6-3, 4-3, 7-3. So a little bit of a less. They gave up four goals to Carolina, lost 4 nothing. They lost to Pittsburgh, 3-2. But those, I mean, the Pittsburgh game is kind of a shocker, right? That was like the, wait, what? That game went under? I'm comfortable coming back here. Over six and a half, New Jersey and Columbus. This game will close at seven, in my opinion. We're going over six and a half for Columbus and the Devils. Columbus is 14, 11, and one at home straight up. Devils are eight, 16, and two on the road. Over six and a half at minus 125 for a half a unit for our first bet of the day. Okay, to college basketball. Let's talk about the one game, and both these basketball games are West Coast games. Not on ten, not intentionally, I'm, I'm sorry to do it, but Arizona is at USC. What are we looking for here in late February, March? We're looking for home dogs, and we're looking for familiarity, okay? Those are two big keys when it comes to handicapping. Arizona is at USC, 
Arizona is laying four and a half points. Home dog in USC at plus four and a half. The interesting point about USC, right now they're in the dance. They're probably a six seed. If they were to win this game and maybe one game in the Pac-12 tournament, they could find themselves on the four line. I mean, they could really increase their seeding and make it a much easier run for them in the NCAA tournament. This is a big game for them. The last time they had a game of this size at home against UCLA, they were catching four points at home and they won the game outright by three. After losing to Arizona by nine as 11 point dogs, they lost the game by nine. They covered by two points on the road at Arizona. This team has beaten Pacific, UCLA, Washington, Washington State, Oregon State, and Oregon. Oregon in their last game in Oregon on the road, winning that game 70 to 69. Huge win for USC. They could get another one here tonight against Arizona, who just comes off of a 16 point loss to Colorado. They might be leaking oil here a little bit. They might be ooh, nine and a half point road dogs and they lose by 16. Did that one line, did the fact they got to the one line, did they start to overlook some of these opponents? Did they lose their edge a little bit till we get to the NCAA tournament? Mm. I got a two possession game. I got a home dog rock and atmosphere for USC with Arizona coming to town. Give me the Trojans plus four and a half USC plus four and a half at home against Arizona. And the NBA play is pretty basic and boring. I'm fading the Lakers. I don't know how you don't fade the Lakers. Dallas is on the road. The line is four. I don't get this number. Four? Is it because of LeBron? Why is this number four? The LA Lakers just lost at home by 28 points to the New Orleans Pelicans. Game before that, they lost by three to the LA Clippers. They did beat Utah somehow by five as four-point home dogs. They lost to Golden State. They lost to Portland. They lost to Milwaukee. They have one win over their last six games, one in five straight up against the number. The Lakers this year are 26 and 34 overall. And at home, they're 13 and 20, 13 and 20 against the spread this season. Like I said, five and five over the last 10, two and three over the last five. And on the other side, Dallas is coming off of that unbelievable come from behind, come from behind victory against the Golden State Warriors. They were catching four. They won by six. They were down by 21 points. They came back and won the game outright. They've won four games in a row against the spread. They're four and one over the last five, eight and two over the last 10, 34, 26 and one overall against the number and 18 and 12 so far this year on the road. Give me Luca. In LA, only it's minus four. This thing's going to climb. I think it gets higher, but Dallas minus four. I'm jumping on it for a half a unit. Dallas minus four at the LA Lakers. Lakers are just broken. It's a broken basketball team. So hockey, college basketball, NBA. Over six and a half, Devils, Blue Jackets. Catching four and a half, USC taking the home dog plus four and a half. Laying the road favorite, Dallas at LA minus four for the Dallas Mavericks. All three bets for a half a unit. Let's keep it rolling. Good week going so far. I like it. Like what we're seeing. Let's have another big night. My name is Matt Peralt. Follow me on Twitter at Sports Talk Matt each and every morning. It's the Daily Juice Podcast. Always being brought to you by BetMGM.